Theater. I, 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 I like um, what I do because I get to work in a lot of different places. And uh, uh, recently I did a show in New Jersey in the uh, auditorium of a technical high school. I forgot that existed. Technical high school. That's where dreams are narrowed down. That's... Because <laughs> we tell our children, you can do anything you want. Their whole lives, you could do anything. But at this place, we take kids, like they're 15, they're young, and we tell them, you can do eight things. <laughs> we got it down to eight for you. And I'm not saying these people are stupid, because I'm stupid. I really am stupid, and, and it bothers me. Like, I wish I was more stupid. Because then it wouldn't, I would, it just all my thoughts would just be like, <laughs> <laughs> Mm. But instead, here's how my brain works. It's stupidity followed by self-hatred and then further analysis. It's not a very efficient system of thought. I have these dumb thoughts, duh, and then I go, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then I figure it out. But the impulse is always stupid. Like, I saw this guy in New York one day and he's walking his dog, and this is what I saw. The guy's got a, he's got a coffee, and a dog on a leash, and a phone, he's on the phone. So he's got his phone like this, and the dog's leash is going from the phone hand to the dog. And I look at this and I go, oh, he's got like a dog phone. <laughs> like that thought sincerely inhabited me for like a full minute. I'm going, oh, I wonder what the benefits are to hooking your phone up to a dog. And then the other part of me had to go, why the fuck would that exist? You asshole! I had a string of bad, dumb thoughts the other day. I was, I don't, remember, I don't remember what town I was in. I was on the road. I was just standing in front of my hotel. It, it was five o'clock in the afternoon. That's usually what I'm doing at five o'clock in the afternoon. Just standing in front of my hotel. Because I've been inside all day just with a jacket off and the ice cream. It's just horrible. It's like a horrible thing. All day, just depths of hell, fucking hell. Just, I wake up, I get like chicken wings. Shit, nobody eats at 10 a.m. Like really hot wings and I eat them all. And then I'm like, Ugh. So I get ice cream to cool it off, you know? Like, I, uh, and then I feel worse, so I jack off and pass out. I turn off my phone in case my kids call. I can't fucking face anybody. I wake up covered with three kinds of shame glaze just covering my body. And so right around five in the afternoon, it starts getting dark, and I'm like, I gotta be in the daylight just once. I have to at least one time in the day be in daylight. And that's, I just stand there. That's it. Like a fucking mental patient in a bathrobe, just... <laughs> Cigarette burns on the robe and shit. Some girl telling me I got, she got married, I'm not listening. <laughs> Daddy, this is my husband. <laughs> That's what it feels like, anyway. <laughs> and, I, and I start looking at people, and they're all crispy clothed and rosy cheeked and full of purpose. And they're making me feel worse. And I'm about to go back in the hotel and jack off another time. <laughs> and then I look across the street and I see this couple, and they were just striking. They're a beautiful couple. It was a, it was a beautiful woman with a beautiful man. I'll say he's beautiful. I got no problem. I'll suck his dick, too. I don't need your permission. I don't care. I'm gonna walk right over there and suck his dick. I mean, I never did that, but I'm 41. Maybe I'll do the second half gay. I don't know. It remains an option. There's gotta be something to it. Those folks are having a good time. They have parades. There's no parades for how I get laid. They have parades. 
marching down the street to celebrate that they blow each other and fuck each other in the ass and smush their vaginas together or whatever that one is. Whatever wonderful thing those folks are doing, it's none of my business. So I, okay, so I'm looking at the couple and they're walking on the other side of the street and they have a child with them. But I can't see their child because there's like a dumpster and some other stuff. I just see like a little head. And I'm waiting, I'm curious what their kid looks like because they're so beautiful. Maybe I want to fuck their kid, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's just me saying something terrible because it makes me laugh that it upsets you. That's all that is, just so you know. It's just, it's just enjoyable to me that you're upset. That's all it is. I, I'm not gonna fuck a kid. I wouldn't do that. Maybe a dead kid. Who are you hurting? He's dead. Who are you hurting? I'm not saying I would kill a kid and fuck him. I'm saying if I found a dead kid in a field and it wasn't raining, I might take a shot. I don't know. I haven't been in that situation. All right. <laughs> oh. All right, okay, so I'm looking at the couple, and... <sighs> they got a kid with them, and I'm curious, what their kid looks like? And they come around the corner, and they're, and this is a true story, it wasn't a kid, it was a little old Chinese woman walking next to them. <laughs> and here's what my dumb brain tells me, I go, oh, that's what their child is like. Not like, oh, she's a separate person, she's not with them. I'm like, oh, that young couple gave birth to a, a tiny elderly Chinese woman. Isn't that interesting? And then the other part of me had to go, dude, you f Yeah, that's what happened, yes. <laughs> Asshole. And then I was looking at the little old Chinese lady. She was, there was a beauty to her. She's just tiny, little old Chinese. I was staring at her, because I was fascinated by her. I don't know anybody like her, and I am so not a little old Chinese lady. <laughs> that I look, I was like, what are her thoughts? That was what I was burning inside with. What is she thinking right now? I can never know. And I really, the dumb brain is telling me that she's just thinking, <laughs> that's how dumb I am. <laughs> that I think, Chinese gibberish that I made up <laughs> is in her actually Chinese mind. That's all just me Chinese. Jing jang, jing jang, jing jang, jang. <laughs> of course, I, I can't know what she was thinking. She could be thinking anything. Uh, black people steal. So I'm like, <laughs> she might, I'm not saying they steal. I'm saying that fucking racist Chinese lady might have been thinking it. She might have been. Possible.